XFL red zone. Single back four wide receiver said, and Redford gets the ball, but spins and loses two yards. Met in the backfield by Cree Higgins. Hail Mary formation, four wide receivers over to the right-hand side. Pepper is going to be sacked, and that's going to do it for the end of the half. Yeah, and a big play there by Chris Porter, able to come in and get the sack to end the half. Maybe that's something that uh, they see as a momentum shift now, headed into the locker room. Their coaches get a chance to adjust and uh, see if they can adapt to this Vancouver offense. On the call here for you tonight, I'm Stephen Hacker. He's Robert Gary Jr. Redford gets the carry, and he's going to get stopped. That's not the, that's not Redford. That's the backup, but he's going to get stopped in the end zone for a safety. And a great job by Chris Porter there. The ends on each side really jammed down inside to stop Redford. From Vancouver in a nickel. They blitz. Quick throw by Dynasty is caught over the middle, breaks a tackle, Jamal Wooding breaks another one and finally is dragged down by Major Key, but not before he gets down to the Vancouver 29 yard line. Jamal Wooding who got hit uh, multiple times on that one, but able to power out of one, spin out of another and keep moving the ball downfield. A great play by Major Key. Defensive stand there. Now they just need their offense to wake up, get something going and put a little pressure. Oh, a blocked kick, a blocked punt, fantastic play. My goodness, it's bouncing around all over the place. Nobody's on it yet. And Atlanta finally is able to hop on that ball at the Vancouver 17 yard line. Very fortunate play for Atlanta and their home crowd is loving that, Robert. And now for the Atlanta Swarm. Dynasty looking to throw. Time fires over the middle when there he, he drops it in over the top and it's Boo Chisholm to get Atlanta on the board for their first points of the game. Boo Chisholm able to find the hole in the zone and get his way into the end zone. Bryant Dynasty had an easy throw there to deliver the ball to Chisholm and touchdown for the Swarm. And that's the Atlanta offense. In the SFL red zone, Pepper under center. Back to throw, time fires back of the end zone, intercepted. Great play by the Swarm secondary player there and steals an opportunity for this Legion offense. Blake Hamrick able to get up high and pick off Tom Pepper's pass. He was looking to go to the corner of the end zone, uh, thought he had his receiver there, but just threw it a little bit too far. Single back, three wide receivers. Back to throw, takes a deep shot down the left side. Boo Chisholm wide open, nobody around him. He's gonna have a huge 60 yard touchdown. He gets Atlanta on the board and that much closer. Yeah, that's a big time touchdown for Atlanta. Uh, unfortunately for Vancouver, you know, the, the backups are in at this point. They don't have a whole much left to, uh, to play for. So uh, Boo Chisholm able to beat his corner, get a deep ball downfield and put more points on the board for Atlanta here. Quick drop, low snap for Aldwell by Pepper. Fires deep down the middle and it's caught and fumbled immediately by Dan Daly, picked up by the linebacker who gets it down to the Vancouver 39 yard line. Cole Finnegan able to pick up the fumble. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, that's one of those calls where uh, you might see a review here. Um, kind of a one-two play there, but looks like he may have gotten possession uh, when his feet hit the ground and uh, it, it may stay. Let's see if there's any kind of challenge. I don't think they're going to. Boy, Atlanta could really use it. Three percent. But a fourth down conversion is necessary here as Falco on the corner route breaks by the defenders and he gets in the end zone. And it may be too little too late, but it's definitely great for your quarterback to build that uh, repertoire with the receiver, show that you have that firepower in your playbook. As Atlanta cuts the lead, but it's 22 to 48 and not much time left in this ballgame. Yeah, Atlanta finally able to find a groove in the passing game, but as you said, uh, a little bit too late here. 
uh, Siege Falco able to pull in a nice one-handed catch. 